Hello world, my name is Fork, and I'm back with uh, Let's Code a Tic-Tac-Toe AI, or a Tic-Tac-Toe game, or whatever. Um, so yeah, I haven't really done anything since the last episode. It's just literally a few minutes after the last episode, so... Um, but in this episode, the first thing I'm going to do is add base dot on back because that is probably a good idea. Yeah. All right. Just there we go. Okay, so now we're going to actually get into coding. So what we're going to do in this episode is add a new class. And this will be our data class. This is going to store the data for the tic-tac-toe board. You know what? You know what? Let's actually not add a new class file for it. Let's just add it in the same file. So we'll say public. Actually, no, it's not going to be public. Uh, class. And we'll just call this one game board. And this will be our data container, data structure thing for. It's basically going to be the back end to this. The game board control is just the GUI element, but the game board is the actual thing that holds the data as to what's here and what's there. Like, is there an X here? Is there an O there? Stuff like that. And um, we also want public. We want an enumeration of the possible values for each cell in the game board. So we'll call this cell state. And the possible values for each cell in the game board are empty, X, and O. And, uh, hold on, there's a hair on my mic. Okay, there we go. Um, so we're going to define just that, empty, X, and O. And these are the possible values for each cell. So we're going to document this. L doesn't start with an S. Derp. And then we'll document this. I don't really know. I'm just typing <laughs> that. <laughs> um... But yeah, it's important to include documentation in your code, at least a little bit of documentation, because that way you know what it, everything does, and you don't have to read the code to figure it out every time you want to change something. Um, but if, especially if you're doing some, some kind of library, you always want to document everything. But uh, yeah. So now, what we're going to do is add a constructor to this. Actually, we don't want that to be public. Because we want only our game board control to be able to create a game board. Because there's no reason for anything outside of it to be touching any game board data. And um, we're going to set up... I usually put my properties inside of a region just because I'm like that. So I can collapse it. You don't have to put the region there, but... It makes the code more organized. <clears throat> and so in here, it's actually going to be properties and indexers. So in here, we're going to say we want a public property. We call it, actually, this shouldn't be private. I just realized it should be protected. Actually, no, just make it public. Whatever. Why is it still an error? Oh, it's never mind. Actually, I do want it protected. And um, we can ignore that error for now. It's just because I have a pl public uh, thing here. So let's see. We want public. Um, so these are going to be our cell states, actually. So first, we want to define an array for cell states. 
and this is not going to be a property. So we're going to say it's going to be an array of uh, cell states, basically, the enumeration we just created. So private um, cell state. And this is going to be a two-dimensional array. So we'll put a comma there. And that tells it it's going to be a 2D array, but it doesn't define a size. And oh, we have to give a name for it, right? We'll call it cell data. And in our constructor, we want to initialize cell data. So we'll say equals new. Whoops. Cell state three by three. So we want a new 3x3 three three 2D array. And then we need to actually put some data in it, because right now it's just an array of null stuff. So in order to do that, we're going to define a new method called reset. And what reset does is exactly what its name says. It resets the state of all cells to empty. And to do this, we're going to do for, oops, we're going to use a for loop. So we're going to say int cx equals 0. And while cx, actually, before we do this, I wanted to find some properties. So um, we're going to have two properties. We're going to have width and height. And width is basically the number of cells wide that the board is. And I know you're saying, but a tic-tac-toe board is always 3x3. Three three. And um, yes, that's true. But what if we want to change that? This will make it much easier to modify it. So, um, so we want to return. Uh, so for our width, we're going to use uh, the rank of the 2D array. So uh, I don't know why it's not letting me. What's this? What is this sorcery? Um. Sorry, I have no idea what's going on here. So, uh, alright, I'm going to ignore that for now. So the rank is basically how many dimensions there are. Actually, no, that's not right. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, no, that's not what we want to use, actually. Um... Yeah, rank is how many dimensions there are, but that's not what we want to use. Oh, okay. Lower bound. All right, this is what we want to do. We want to do get upper bound, I think, of dimension zero, I think. <laughs> so dimension zero will be the width, and uh, dimension one will be the height. And uh, we'll try this and see how it works. Okay, so... Sorry about that. Um, I got a little confused there. So while CX is less than the width, then add one to CX. 
and then we're going to nest another loop in there. And while cy is less than, or while cy is less than height, yeah, Ben. Is that you banging? No, I'm not banging. You just interrupted my recording. Thanks. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not editing this. I'm too lazy. Uh, add one to see why. So, and that's um, that's pretty much it. So now, this is basically we're gonna go through each uh cell and set it to empty. So, cell and um. Before we do this, we gotta define another property, and this is actually not a property, it's an indexer. Uh, cell state. Uh, this. So this is an indexer. And uh, this is gonna be used to access the uh, state of each cell in the, in the game board. get it we're gonna return cell data and set value okay so that's that's it for now um for that i think that's all the properties we need for now so um to reset it we're going to loop through each cell and say this cx cy equals empty if i can type empty properly and it's not actually empty it's a uh, cell state dot empty there we go. So that should reset all the cells in the board. And hold on one second. Okay, we've been going for 12 minutes, so I'm going to have to finish up here soon. So I don't bore you guys. Um, <coughs> I wanted to get the uh, the rendering of the X's and O's in for this, this episode, but I guess I'm not going to. I guess I'm not going to have time. So um, almost done here. We just got a call reset from the constructor, like this. So when it's first created, create it, uh, initialize cell data, and then reset everything. And that's pretty much it for now. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace out.